Next, we'll have Sarah Flox with the Labor Federation, as well as Peter Finn from the Teamsters. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Peter Finn. I'm the Secretary Treasurer and Principal Officer of Teamsters Local 856 and the Recording Secretary of Joint Council 7 of the Teamsters, covering 100,000 members throughout Northern California. Uh, I wanted to uh, first thank the committee for the opportunity to be here today. Uh, Health care is something that, that, that I am very passionate about. and. Uh, along with uh, affordable housing, the skyrocketing cost of health care is among the biggest challenges facing middle class families here in California. Uh, this is certainly the case for the workers that we represent. Our local union, Teamsters Local 856, represents 13,000 members working at nearly 200 different employers in both the public and the private sector. In every industry you can think of, from, from school employees to law enforcement, from hotel workers to to airline mechanics. And while the workers we represent are very different, there, there's one thing that is consistent across all industries and sectors where our members work. Healthcare is the most challenging issue we face at every bargaining table. The challenges workers face around healthcare are significant. The skyrocketing cost of healthcare is making the employee share of monthly medical premiums reach unaffordable levels. And as more and more money is being diverted from salary to health care, there is downward pressure on wages. We've also seen rising health care costs result in fewer plan choices, benefit level reductions, and worst of all, and worst of all, more employers are attempting to limit access to health care through the use of part-time and temp workers. Uh, I, spend, uh, I spend most of my time, uh, I spend most of my time bargaining contracts alongside the members that we represent. In negotiations, when I start the discussion on health care with an employer, I always begin by talking about how it's, it's a shared problem that we need to solve together. I make it clear to the employer that they did not create the problem, that our members didn't either, that the skyrocketing cost of health care is something that has been dropped in our lap. Both employers and workers left holding the bag, left trying to figure out how to pay for it. The problem is that health care costs just keep going up, and it feels like there is no end in sight. Uh, it is becoming unsustainable. Uh, for example, uh, we represent workers in many school districts in the Bay Area. These districts contract with CalPERS for medical insurance. But guess what? Even CalPERS, with its huge statewide buying power, can't keep rates down. The monthly, the monthly premium for a basic Kaiser family plan is now over $2,000 per month. That's $24,000 per year. Again, this is not a Cadillac plan. This is a basic Kaiser family plan. At the two biggest school districts where we represent workers, the employer pays 80% of the Kaiser rate. At first glance, this doesn't seem unfair. The employer is paying nearly $20,000 per year for every employee in family medical. But the story gets worse when you look at the paycheck of a worker. For example, a custodian makes just under 20 bucks an hour, or $40,000 per year. After taxes, take home pay is just, just over 2,500 bucks a month. Then you have to pay your 20% of your Kaiser family plan. That's over $400 per month. After paying that $400 per month for health care, that leaves just over $2,000 for rent, for clothes for the kids, for groceries, and other expenses of daily life. And the school districts are not the worst of it. At one barrier county where we just recently organized workers, the employee monthly share for Kaiser, the employee uh, monthly share for the Kaiser family plan was $800 and $1,000 for other plans, particularly in the context of the affordable housing crisis that we face throughout the state. These outrageous health care costs are simply unaffordable. Uh, in the private sector, maintaining quality health care has come at the expense of wages. Our members diverting salary increases to pay for health care. For example, in the hotel industry, where we represent a thousand workers in San Francisco, health care now costs over $12 per hour. Yes, $12 per hour. That's $25,000 a year being diverted from wages to health care, money that could otherwise be spent uh, in the local economy to help workers manage the ever-increasing cost of living. In our experience, 
it is undeniable that the out of control healthcare costs are a key driver in wage stagnation. Skyrocketing healthcare costs have also led to elimination of plan choices and reduction of benefit levels. Non-Kaiser HMOs and PPOs being eliminated to cut costs. And when we can keep those options, deductibles and, co and co-pays are, are going up. And most disturbing of all, employers in both the public and the private sector are dealing with these spikes in health care costs by denying access to medical coverage through the use of part-time and temp workers. At one employer we just organized, of 1,800 workers in the unit, only 600 qualify for medical benefits. This abuse of part-time and temporary workers is a direct result of the impact of skyrocketing health care costs. In addition to negotiating contracts, I'm also a trustee on a union Taft-Hartley trust fund that covers Teamster members, their families, retirees. The trust fund contracts with Kaiser, Anthem Blue Cross, and offers a self-funded PPO where the trust fund pays the claims directly. In the years following the 2000 15 passage of the health care transparency law, SB 546, the pressure from Sacramento seemed to have an impact. And we saw a few years of low rate increases from Kaiser and Anthem Blue Cross. As a trust fund, we did everything we could to take advantage of the tools available to us to keep rates down. We hired a data warehouse company to analyze utilization with the data we were now able to obtain from the insurance companies. And we grew our trust fund by adding participants. In fact, we nearly doubled the size of our trust fund. Unfortunately, it appears we have completely exhausted the positive impact of the transparency law. And the days of huge double digit increases are back with us. And back in a big way. Listen to this. Kaiser just announced they are increasing our rate by 15%. The non-Kaiser HMO is worse. Anthem Blue Cross is proposing a 25% increase. That means the family rate will be going up $500 per month. And whether it's the employer paying for it or the employees, it's absolutely unsustainable. On our self-funded direct pay PPO side, I was told by our experts the only way to reduce cost was to create a skinny network of hospitals. In other words, cut out the hospitals that charge the most. But here's the catch. That would eliminate 30% of the hospitals that our members depend on using. Uh, and, of course, that's a, a non-starter. Uh, as you can probably guess, I'm frustrated. I'm disheartened. Uh, the status quo is, is just not sustainable. I can't help but feel like we're at a breaking point, that we're out, we're out of options for workers and employers to solve the issue of skyrocketing health care costs at the negotiating table. We need a strong legislative solution that controls costs throughout the system, from hospitals two insurance companies. And I want to close by making it clear. Working people across the state stand ready to work with you to, to accomplish this goal and solve this problem. We can't afford not to. Thank you.